Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we discussed about uh, how to design the master page. And we, now in this video, we will discuss about how to write the code for login form, three-tier architecture. So here actually in our project, there are basically two types of modules are there. One is admin module, other one is user module. And admin will first uh, log in. And he will add the bus details, add the pickup points, add the destination points as well as fare and he can view the booking details so first admin will log in with his username and password so here within my visual studio editor let us assume this is our login.aspx and as we discussed in 3 tier architecture the presentation layer must communicate with business logic layer and uh, business logic layer with data access layer and data access layer will communicate with database so at any cost you must not write the logic in where uh, presentation layer the business logic or any calculations you have to write in business logic layer so here you see go to the solution explorer here you can see the business logic layer right click on business logic layer here you can add the class i'll add a class here in the name of the class i will try to give as business logic layer dot cs here you see business logic layer dot cs add button is it clear so here you can see one class is generated with name business logic layer dot cs and um, here here as we discussed in three tier architecture the presentation layer must communicate with business logic layer and uh, in business objects we need to declare the properties so i will try to go to the business objects and i will try to add one class right click add class the name of the class I will try to give as business objects business objects dot c cs is it clear click on add button so here you see so business objects consists of properties properties are generally used to transfer the values between the classes so here I want to declare two properties two automatic properties right uh, the shortcut for declaring the properties is prop tab tab public the data type i will give as string and here i will give the name of the property as username and here i will declare one more property public string the property name i will give as password two properties here i have declared so now i want to build the solution and um, here in business logic layer here on generally we have to write the logic inside the business logic layer only and within the business logic layer i will try to uh, use the properties that is this business objects i want to consume under business logic layer so go to business logic layer references right click add reference there you can select a solution and within your under solution you can see projects there you check the business objects we are adding the business objects under what business logic layer is it clear and within the business logic layer i want to declare one method so here i will declare one method public the return type of the method i will give as int the name of the method i will give as admin login is it clear at any cost in three tier architecture the calculations are business logic layer business logic you have to write inside where business logic layer only and within this method i will try to consume the dll file that is using business objects is it clear for this method i will try to pass the parameter something like business objects dot uh, business objects here you can see i think uh, the namespace name is business objects right so here i will try to declare the namespace name dot class name business objects dot business objects is it clear obj bo obj bo is the object name here see here, to make your work simple i will try to declare some shortcuts obj bo means object of business uh, that that is object of business objects obj dll that is the object name of business logic layer obj dil that is the object name of data access layer and within this admin login method uh, i will try to write some code if uh, if obj bo dot username 
So here we already know the default access modifier of the class is what internal. So the scope of internal is within the assembly. So I will make this class as what public. And then I will try to build the solution. That is why here we are not able to see the intelligence. And business logic layer also I will make this class also as what public. Right. Now here you can see namespace name dot the class name you can see obj bo. So here I will write the code something like if obj bo dot object name dot property name is equals to I don't want to interact with the database simply if the username is admin and password obj bo dot password is equals to admin if the username is admin and password is admin here I will write simply return 1 else I will write return 0 I hope you understood right if the username is admin and password is admin it has to return what 1 else it has to return 0 that is why this method return type I have given as what int so here you can just build and build the solution build succeeded is it clear now here you can uh, uh, go to the login.aspx.cs and uh, here you can double click on login control then automatically login one underscore authenticate event will fire and within this authenticate event and as I told that presentation layer will communicate with what business logic layer so I have to consume the business logic layer under uh, presentation layer so here you go to the presentation layer right click on what references add reference and here you select business logic layer click on what ok here you don't confuse in business logic layer I added business objects and in presentation layer I added what business logic layer DLL so here I want to consume the DLL using business logic layer is it clear so within the authenticate event I will create an object for the business logic layer business logic layer dot business logic layer obj bll is equals to new business logic layer of throughout the project I will use obj bll as the object name of business logic layer and how to call the method object name dot method name what is the method name admin login at the time of calling the method you have to pass the what business objects also so here within my uh, solution explorer within the presentation layer under references right click add reference I will try to add business objects ok so in presentation layer I am adding business objects as well as business logic layer generally business objects we will consume in anywhere is it clear so within this uh, login.aspx.cs here I will try to write using business objects now I will try to create an object for the business objects so here you see business objects dot business objects obj bo is equals to new business objects of is it clear and I will try to set the value obj bo dot what is the property name username is equals to where is my username login one dot username because it's the login control login control have two properties one is username other one is what password generally we'll write text box one dot text two dot text but here um, the name of the control is login one similarly obj bo dot password is equals to login one dot password is it clear? I have set the values in the properties and at the time of calling this method I will pass what object obj bo where that object consists of both the values and the admin login method the written type of admin login method is what int so the result of this method you can store in where int so the written type of this method is int so the result of this method I will store in int so if the record is uh, if the login login user is valid user I will return 1 else I will return what 0 so I will write here if I double equals to 1 I want to uh, do something else means invalid user so here I will write something like login 1 dot there is one property called failure text is equals to invalid user is it clear if the login user is valid user it has to go to the next form next space so here you can go to the solution explorer uh, there you can see um, or I want to simply display one message later we will discuss response dot write 
of here I want to display one message saying that valid user valid user in order to understand this I will try to keep the breakpoint in just here you can click so that the breakpoint will be automatically available or right click and insert breakpoint here you can see breakpoint here you can uh, insert the breakpoint now once debug and check the output so that you can understand the flow of execution right press F5 and check the output here you can just click on login and here I will give the username as admin and password as admin and click on login then automatically authenticate event will fire press F11 to see the flow of execution is it clear so here you see object is created for business logic layer because presentation layer is interacting with what business logic layer and object is creating for the business objects and setting the properties here username is admin and password is what admin is it clear now calling the admin login method at the time of calling the method we are passing what values so here you can see the object it comes of username as well as password admin and admin is it clear and here you can check uh, press f11 and here username is admin admin is equal to admin and admin is equal to admin so the condition is satisfied so return what one so actually in this screen we are not working with any database so business logic layer is not interacting with the data access layer at this moment but if database is there definitely have to write the adio.net code in data access layer mostly the next screen we will see so here i i is how much one one is equal to one so the result is valid user is it clear so here you can see your login attempt was successful please try again but uh, if you redirect to the next form you will not get this error we will clarify that one is it clear i hope you understood so here um, now the role of admin is admin will login and uh, admin can add the bus details pickup points and all the other forms so in the next video i will try to discuss about the role of admin right so for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel as well as facebook group thank you have a nice day